Much music, baby. Yeah, should I drop my drawers? Go ahead. My you wearing underwear? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Carlos Alomar sitting down before Mike Williams. It's Carlos Alomar. It's Mike Williams by right hair. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Lux Music 10th Anniversary Sleep is for Wimps Marathon Weekend. 52 hours live this weekend. Ian, how do you feel about being a video artist? Excellent coffee. Excellent coffee? Excellent coffee, yes. We ain't gonna take it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Much music, baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There were um, certain artists that quickly... <laughs> what is that? Uh, the is last that a fire alarm? Just, that fire alarm. That is a fire alarm. Um... <laughs> And this is live. On February out with ZZ Top. Yeah. That's right. We're doing some dates. I want to get a quick picture oh, if you don't mind. Oh, oh yeah, you get these. Oh. Here, <laughs> pose for a picture here. You get these uh, road shots. Okay. Oh, and, yeah. You know. Okay, one shot. Yeah. Great. Thank you. I was a fan of Led Zeppelin all the way from 1970, and uh, who? All of the lyrics. That band that I can't remember, but they were a really <laughs> big rock band. <laughs> <laughs> This is a song that is not new to you guys because you have been doing it off and on for like the past six years? No, it's not new to me. And why is there a roll of toilet paper next to your seat? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, because of all the sneezing that's been going on. See, they don't on. let this guy go to the bathroom. Oh, man. Oh, boy. And this is live? Yeah, and this is, this is live. Uh, it is uh, the marathon. Uh, it is the Sleepers for Wimps marathon. We're celebrating 10 years, and um, it's, this is just as surprising for us as it is for you folks out there, because I'm sure you're looking at some stuff going, geez, I didn't, I didn't remember that. Oh, God, the parade of shirts continues to. Yeah, do you figure me <laughs> to parade of shirts? <laughs> parade of shirts and parade of hair. Yes. Oh, well, no, this... Oh, no, this, 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 is, this, is, this is fairly tame. Now, is this one of those shirts? I think it's blossoming. <laughs> is, this one, is, is this one of those shirts that say, you know, five, six, seven years from now, if you see a piece of tape with you on it, look back and go, geez, how could I wear a shirt like that? Yeah. It's like dumb. I'm going to say, why did I let Steve talk me into wearing that shirt? Yeah, right. What about uh, your shirt? Well, this one, well, it's just white. Oh, see, yeah. this signal's been beaming out there at the speed of light for um, 10 years. 10 years, yes. Do you have any A idea? decade to some. You figure... <laughs> how far do you figure it's gotten out there? You know what I'm thinking. I'm I thinking, have no idea, but I'm, go ahead. I'm just thinking... I'm with you, though. I'm just thinking that there's some other cable company on some other planet that's sucking, that's stealing our signal, stripping out the commercials, reselling them, and making money off of really? us. Really? Theft on Uranus, huh? Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Touché, sir. <laughs> Touché. And with that, uh, well, let's feed into this seamlessly, of course, which we're noted for, seamless broadcasting. <laughs> um, that little bit of information that, that we just talked about, like... Mm. Yes. It's, it's uh, called a piece of trivia, mm -hmm. but it's kind of drivel at the same time. So we'd like to introduce to you and things we'll show you this weekend. This is our first little piece of trivia. Is this live? <laughs> Gallagher, special correspondent for this fabulous weekend here at Much Music. And I'm at the McLaughlin Planetarium in downtown Toronto, right next to the Royal Ontario Museum. And joining me is Thomas Dewey. Thomas, thanks for being on the show. It's Robert Dewey. Robert Dewey. What is your actual function here? I am uh, one of the planetarium theater operators here. Mm -hmm. So that means I sort of bring the people in and start the shows and I run the hang shows. On, hang, on, hang, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's not working for me. Um, get this uh, nice white jacket on. And okay, so, so Robert, you know, uh, there's a theory. I deal with a lot of theories. There's a theory that, you know, when this stuff goes on television and goes on radio and whatnot, that it gets sent out there to the cosmos. Uh, now, 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 what's the background of that theory? Where does it come from? If you were, if you were 10 light years away, just starting to receive much music, you would be noticing that Earth has all this intensive radiation coming off it, far brighter than any other star system around us. Really? And anybody uh, living sort of beyond us uh, on other, around other star systems, and if they've got fine enoughly tuned equipment, are going to be able to uh, dial us in and, uh, and watch our programming, listen to our shows. So so help, me out, help, help me out here with the math, and Robert. So I'm guessing we've been on the air now 10 years. So let's say back in uh, 1984, Platinum Blonde, 
a platinum blonde video, right? Right. Where would it be in the vast cosmos right now? Well, this could be the people living on the star Sirius, the dog star. Really? And they're only tuning in. They've only been now watching much music for two years. Where's Alpha Centauri? Alpha Centauri is our closest neighboring star system to us. So that's four and years away? Four and a half late years away from us. So I'm guessing right now and you're, they're, they're you're, getting Milli Vanilli. Girl, well, I know it's true. Go. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they're getting that. They're tuning into that right now. But it won't be till next year. They know it's all fake. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's and good. I love this space stuff. <laughs> All of us astronomers, we believe that uh, more than likely the universe is just teeming with life. Where would the closest foreign life, alien life form be to us? Well, we've got some speculations that there are some star systems about six light years away from us that possibly could have planets. Robert, that I, could want, have I don't people, want speculation. That could have aliens. If I want people. speculation, I'll open a book. I got you in person. Where's the closest alien life form? Uh, somewhere over there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Hotel, Hotel California. California. You will you find it here. here. You will quiet here. here. Something like that. There's, There's plenty, plenty of, of room, room here at the Hotel, Hotel California. California. It's, it's a, a paradise. paradise. It's, it's something it's, nice. It's lovely. <laughs> Taking our future one day. 